Hey, what's up guys? So today we are going to make a small zoom in function. As you can see when you right click, it zooms in. And if you notice also we have a small blur effect that updates automatically. So as you can see here, this other box is blurred. Now if I focus on this one, uh, this new one is blurred and it adapts basically based on where you actually look. So yeah, uh, let's get started. So here is the scene setup. Uh, it's the same as previous videos, so you can check them out if you want. So we have our capsule collider, which is basically our main character. And under here we have the script zoom camera, which has variables for the camera that we are using. This is our main camera. As you can see, if I disable it, then nothing renders. On top of that, we have a zoom key. This refers to which key to press to zoom in. So I have it as mouse one, but you can select another one here. And then we have a normal FOV and a zoom FOV. So what does the FOV means? Well, basically this is what zooms in the camera, basically, as you can see. So the lower the value, the more zoom in it is. And the larger the value, the less zoom, the more zoom out it is, as you can see. So we have it as 60 and at 40 for zoom in, but you can change it if you want. And then after that, we have a reference to the zoom volume. This is the um, the actual post-processing that we are applying, as you can see. We have the depth of field. We have some chromatic aberration, and as well as a panini effect. This gets applied once we are actually in the zoom in position. So now let's move on to the scripting side of things. So here is the zoom camera script. As you can see here is our various variables that we saw in the editor. And we have another private one, which is the depth of field. This is basically the depth of field effect from the actual um, volume that we had. As you can see here, we access it using the zoom volume, the profile, the try get depth of field, and then we just do an out operation and store it in the depth of field variable. And then on void update, we basically check whether or not the zoom key is being pressed down. If it is, we update the weight of the zoom volume to one. So this ensures that the volume actually applies the effect to the camera. A weight of zero would just neglect it. And then we also update the field of V of the camera to being the zoom FOV. And then we just reverse everything here uh, if we release the zoom key. And then next, is a recasting that we have. This basically is used to change the focusing distance, as you can see, of the depth of field effect dynamically. So we just recast it using the camera position and the transform that forward. We store it in hit variable, and then we just calculate the distance using victor3 distance from the hit position to the camera. And then we just apply it using depth of field that focus distance that value equals to distance. So this is basically it. And if you actually follow this tutorial, then you should be able to have a fully working uh, zooming system. Obviously, you could modify the script to add uh, some smoothing and time out and time in for the different effects. Right now it's instant, but you could have it so that when you actually click on the zoom key, instead of just snapping to zero to one, it actually smooths, smoothens it out. We might actually make that in the next video, so be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and turn on bell notification. So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe. Also comment down below what you want me to cover on next. And yeah, so I'll see you guys next one. Bye!